My view outside this window is just so spectacular. Trees are such mysterious things. Communicate under the ground with each other. Isn't that amazing? They grow from everything that falls into the ground around them. I mean, oneness is really reflected back by this change, you know, in the flow of things. Because change is always changing into itself like a kaleidoscope. As colours change, the patterns change, the appearances change. But it's always the same colours, just being rotated in different formations to create different patterns. Life is really reflecting that back. So I'm looking at this blue sky with white clouds coming in. Trees of all different sizes, waving in the wind. And all of it is at one point or another moving into the other. So the trees are once the wind, once the sky, once the clouds, once the soil, and the clouds are once the trees, once the ground, once the wind. all exchangeable, you know, and the same with us. We were once the earth, once the trees, once the dogs, the bees, the other people, the light, the sky, the stardust. We have been at all. I'm talking about these bodies, not as consciousness this apparent flow of things. You know, the atoms that make up this body have been all different formations creating all different things, constantly dissolving and changing into something else. I think every seven years, these bodies are regenerated completely afresh. So it changes and changes and changes. So seven years later, it's no longer got anything in it that looks the same seven years ago and yet you look at a photo and it looks the same it's so different but if we take the way that like just when this body dies it then goes into other things constant movement and expansion endlessly and that's only an issue for the human mind. It's not an issue for life itself. For the human mind, when it's looking at life through me, how can I be special? Time, my life, the meaning to my life, then that can seem banal, like um, pointless. Like, why would I endlessly be changing into things? Because the person looks like it's got this 80 years to put an impression on the planet and make something of itself and be something. And then it like, boom, like a rocket, I'm going to be something and it runs off into this world trying to be something and win the game. So then when it thinks about its own infinity, it can kind of get depressed because the point to its game is having a limited amount of time to be the most successful, most brilliant and better than everyone else. And then if you look at the infinity of everything, that timer on the game of your life becomes irrelevant. And then all what the person's been working for becomes in question. Why, why, why? Because I've got to be something. But what if you've not got to be something? And there's just the going back to what you are, which is being for nothing.
and that is absolute love to the person that wants to be something that is just the worst message the person that wants to be something wants to be something it wants to be important it wants to be remembered it wants to make a mark it wants to stamp something it wants to be better than it wants to have a particular life and then as it begins to get in its 50s and 60s it's disappointed and ruminates over its past and where it went wrong because it didn't have the life in which it thinks it should have had but it's had absolute perfection just like the trees the tree isn't worrying about its meaning and its point and it should have grown in, into an oak tree rather than into um, an apple so I am I so small just produce these fat apples whereas they've got slim little acorns and very tall oak with big big fat trunk I've got a ski trunk it's a little bit nimble looking with bumps but it's absolutely perfect you are perfection acting out the mind though the identification will never believe this because it needs the belief to exist to be something it needs in order to exist it needs to believe that it's going to be something better than it is now and without that it's crushing and the person often flops into depression there is nothing you need to be this is it, baby.